Hello, welcome back to my channel. One of the most anxiety releasing part about UX research is after you wrap up the study, you finish then synthesizing and analyzing all the data, now you're finally putting this down into a format that is adjustable for your team and your stakeholders. In this video today, I wanted to personally share about my personal take on sharing out insights to your team. A special shout out to Jade for uh, suggesting this topic in the comments, especially when you work in smaller companies, which I do. I think it really helps to know where other UX researchers are struggling in or, or wanting to grow in. And I totally feel the same or have felt the same at some point in my career. I created this channel so that I could be a little bit more vulnerable with other UX researchers out there or aspiring researchers and to make this journey a little bit less intimidating for those who are entering in and also to empathize with folks out there. I really appreciate feeling the sense of community. So thank you so much for sharing your thoughts, your comments, your questions, and then some uh, topics for suggestion in the comment box below. Please continue doing that. So let's get started. The first type of share out uh, style is the good old presentation deck slide. I frequently use Google Slides to put together research findings and they're kind of basic, but also awesome because they're not only used for presentations, they're also easy to read through very quickly because you can separate them out into different sections and they're also helpful for getting feedback from your UX designers, your fellow researchers, um, your stakeholders, since they can quickly put down comments and ask any follow-up questions and you can quickly respond to those questions directly on the deck itself. They're especially good when you're um, going to take the time to officially do a presentation on it. I love putting GIFs, emojis, some type of visuals on every slide or two so that you're not boring out the audience. I've seen presenters who um, plainly put text over text versus those that overload their decks with visuals and I've always preferred as an audience um, to the, the latter. I'm sure it's a lot of the information that you think are very important, you want to share them out all out, consolidating the information and presenting it in, in a digestible, like engaging and visual way is the key here. The second way of sharing out insights is in a collaborative uh, board tools. If the insights that you're about to share are very visual, where you need to show maps or tables to tell the story, collaborative boards like Miro or Mural or Fig Jam would help you do that. I love using Miro because it has the presentation mode as well that lets you organize um, your information into slides like a PowerPoint deck. You can also move around the board to show visuals as well that don't fit into those slides. And then you can also export those out into an actual PowerPoint deck as well, which really helps. I've used this when um, I share out user journey maps before or persona or mindset map. This allows you to be um, collaborative also since your team can also comment on it too. Another great way to present out findings is in a Google document. Google Docs are kind of boring, but also really good for teams that don't have too much time to get together for an hour to walk through the PowerPoint deck and just want to really quickly run through, read through um, a large amount of data of information. Um, just because it's a document, you don't want paragraphs or essays either because you don't want your findings document to be that resource that nobody reads through. Calling out succinct bullets and sub bullet points is crucial here. Docs, Google Docs are definitely like they allow you to to dump a lot of information into appendix as well, which is great for people who are skimming through to get read through a large amount of information. Great for teams with a lot of readers. I've also created highlight videos in the past to quickly um, share out insights to the team um, through chat. Uh, we use Slack. Um, I've also used Google Chat before or Teams Chat. Um, let's say you have a big team and you can you know, never find time on their calendars because they're so busy, but you want to let them see and hear some of the major insights, some of the representative feedback from our users, right? I recommend testing out, creating a quick three minute highlight videos to call out a couple of major insights, include a few clips of those representative quotes. You can just drop the video in the chat, 
say, hey, here are the major insights from this research. I'll be setting up an actual meeting, a readout meeting in the next week or so to further discuss about these findings and, and answer any questions you may have. This really pumps up our stakeholders and really gets the conversation going before even that official um, readout happens. There are also some other creative ways um, to share out findings in an engaging visual ways as such. To be honest and kind of realistic, I feel like I've never had the time to put something like this put together. I want to though, I think this is awesome. Like people who are a little bit of a visual person, I think this would be great. Another way of reading out research findings is to frequently share out research major insights within the Teams chat. I've created visuals on Canva before, kind of like a hack around this infographic, but created visuals on Canva in the past and shared a JPEG or a, like a small P PDF file that calls out a few of those major insights from the research as a way to gauge interest prior to having an official conversation as a team. Sometimes uh, it's kind of annoying that we have to constantly think about, you know, how to make these insights um, interesting, exciting and attractive and, and we kind of need to like advertise ourselves and like really fight for ourselves. However, this is one of the challenges um, that we as UX researchers need to constantly work for and overcome, I guess. And it's going to be a skill set that we will definitely gradually grow in. I hope this was helpful to you. If there are any other creative ways of sharing out uh, findings, please share it in the comment box below. Um, would love to learn from others as well myself. Anyways, thank you so much for watching um, and I hope you have a good rest of your week. Thank you.